Right, here's a great home workout you can do. Um, all you're going to need is a kettlebell. If you haven't got a kettlebell but you have got dumbbells, you can substitute a dumbbell um, and use that as a swing. And then the only other thing you're going to need is your body weight. Um, at the end of the video, I'll post up some other combinations that you can use to complete this workout. Um, but what I'm thinking we could probably do is, again, you can muck about with the times however you want. But for this one, we're going to do a 30 belt, a 30 belt, a 30 second kettlebell exercise, kettlebell swing, into a 30 second upper body exercise, into a 30 second lower body exercise, and then a 15 second break. And then you go back to the kettlebell swing, upper body for 30, lower body for 30, 15 second break. Um, as I say, I'll post up at the end some other combinations you can do to complete the workout. Uh, if you've only got a dumbbell, that's fine. If it's not too heavy on the dumbbell, um, I'll do single-handed swings first. So just holding it, keeping the ends forward, drop the hips down, snap the hips forward, looking to lock out at the top, thrusting it forward as opposed to lifting with the hand. If you have got heavy dumbbells, go heavier, do a two-handed grip, exactly the same. Snap forward from there. If you've got kettlebells, even better. If you've got a kettlebell, you should know a two-handed swing, but if not, Loose grip, hips back, and then from there, clench the bum and lock out nice and tall. Really thrust it from the hips. So we're going to do a two-handed swing to start with. Um, 30 seconds on there. As soon as you've done 30 seconds, straight down into a press-up. Again, full body press-up. Drop down, push up. If we're on the knees, angle them back 45 degrees. Drop in, push away. Nice and tight. Looking to work at quite a quick pace from there. So 30 seconds on press up. As soon as you're done, coming up, shoulder width apart, gonna go 30 seconds of squats. Drop it down, fire back up. Again, all of these, we're trying to keep the pace as quick as possible. As soon as you're done 30 seconds, if you're feeling pretty fit, take a 15 second break, move on to the next set, which I'll post up at the end. If you need a little bit more, maybe go for 30 seconds break. But I'll post some more up for you.